Oh, good afternoon and welcome to the 63rd Annual Gerstacker Excellence in Teaching Awards Ceremony. We're excited to now host this event in, for the first time in the newly renovated Central Auditorium. My name is Mark Hackbarth and I'm the president of the Midland City Education Association. I have the distinct honor of representing the teaching and special services staff for Midland Public Schools, many of whom are here today, and welcome. I'm also excited and honored to have the opportunity to open this award ceremony, an event that the MCA has co-sponsored with the Midland Public Schools Board of Education for 63 years. During this event, we recognize our current slate of retirees, along with those who have attained significant service milestones with MPS, and of course, we honor the teaching excellence of four amazing educators. This is by far the most uplifting and motivational event that I attend each year. To hear the stories about the impact that our winners have had on their students is incredibly motivating for those of us who are continuing our journey through our careers in education. Speaking of journeys, later this week on this very stage, H.H. Dow High School will be presenting The Wizard of Oz. So that got me thinking that there's probably some analogies that we could draw between um, the students' path through their K-12 education and Dorothy's journey through the land of Oz. No, there are no wicked witches. Well, I hope not anyway. Nor tornadoes that transport the students to a magical land. But there are the unexpected challenges that the students have to face and they must, through which they must persevere in order to proceed. And they also meet a variety of people who help them along the way to make that journey a little bit easier. And most importantly, there's a path to follow. In The Wizard of Oz, it's the path is made of yellow bricks. In a school, those bricks are laid by all of the amazing teachers, such as those who are retiring, those who have reached significant milestones of years of service, and of course, today's award winners. Every student has had a teacher who supported and guided them as they worked their way through that journey to a successful future. They have helped the students with unexpected challenges and pushed them to grow better and smarter than they currently were. The path is rarely straight, but it always reaches an end. Except in the case of an education, the end is not pretend magic from a man behind the curtain, but a future bright with possibilities. No wizard is needed, just caring, dedicated, and talented teachers like the ones that are being recognized today. To conclude my opening remarks, I'd like to express our gratitude to the Gerstacker family for their continued support of this award and ceremony. So during the first portion of our program, we honor the years of service to the Midland Public Schools. These years may have been spent as a teacher, counselor, therapist, psychologist, or administrator. I would like to ask each of these individuals to stand as I call his or her name. Please hold your applause until all of the individuals are standing. Celebrating 25 years of students are Heather Aviles, Robin Bott, Brian Brown, Jill Crush, Lori Lee, Carrie Marchand, Fran Martinez, Angela McMath, Catherine Mativa, Mark Pickering, Kay Rogers, Shannon Roller, Bridget Sova, Corinne Stanifer, Peter Welter, and Jeff Yoder. Celebrating 30 years of service, Michelle Meitler, Christy Prout, Amy Rye Fisher, Michelle Schapansky, Linda Swanson, Pamela Taylor, and Sharon Weselowski. And celebrating 40 years of service, is Deborah Chernick. So all together, I did the math twice. Um, it's 680 years of service that we're recognizing today. So congratulations and thank you for your service. At this point, I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Mike Shero, who will recognize this year's retirees.
Well, Mark talked about the wither, Wizard of Oz. I'm going to go in a little different direction than that one. So, It is so exciting to be here in our beautifully renovated auditorium celebrating the 63rd annual Gerstacker Teacher Award Ceremony. To think, this original auditorium was built in 1938, 80 years ago. It is all inspiring to think about the thousands and thousands of Midland Public Schools students who have performed on this stage and the thousands who are yet to perform. When we look in the program and see that the very first Gerstacker Teacher Awards were presented in 1956, we were humbled by the magnanimous support of the Gerstacker family for the 63 years of these awards that celebrate Midland Public School educators. I don't believe Lisa Gerstacker make it, made it tonight, but she, today, as she usually does, but if she did, thank you, Lisa. When I think about one of my favorite things, you guessed it, baseball, in the year 1956, the first year of these Gerstacker Awards, I may not have been born yet, but as a young boy poring over baseball stats in the 60s and 70s, a couple of the big names that made an impact and are still remembered today. Mickey Mantle, who earned the baseball's illustrious Triple Crown in 1956. He led the league that year in batting average, home runs, and RBIs. Also, Don Larson, who pitched a perfect game in Game 5 of the 1956 World Series. The 1956 major feats of these great ball players are still celebrated and remembered today, 63 years later. The same is true for our Gerstacker recipients through the years. Thanks to the Gerstacker family, we continue to celebrate and remember that Cecilia Kelly received her Gerstacker Award in 1956, and that Belva Weber received hers in 1957, as well as all of the Gerstacker recipients through the years. You may not remember this story that I shared with you at last year's Gerstacker ceremony, but as we look back and reflect on MPS education through the years, please allow me to share the story, true story, again. As we were preparing for a board meeting, we received paperwork for a very special gift. The gift may not have been overly large, but it was, it was sure heartfelt. It was a gift of money earmarked for fifth grade science education supplies for Plymouth Elementary School in memory of Mr. James Nelson. Mr. Nelson taught at Plymouth for 28 years, retiring in 1989. He was the gift donor's fifth and sixth grade teacher at Plymouth from 1970 to 1972. In the letter that accompanied the gift, she wrote, I know it's not much, but his obituary said to consider charity of my choice. And I can't think of a better way to remember him. Mr. Nelson was my science teacher in fifth grade and my homeroom science teacher in sixth grade. He was funny, smart, and kind. Everything you would want in a teacher. I think back fondly of those days when he made learning fun and interesting. Whatever he was teaching, he was enthusiastic. Mr. Nelson was remembered and honored for the difference he made in this woman's life 50 years later. That is also what we do today. We honor not only our Gerstecker recipients, our retirees, our certificated staff who have been with us with MPS 25, 30, and yes, even 40 years. We also honor and thank every one of the MPS educators and administrators who have dedicated their career to the education of Midland Public School children. That is something none of us take lightly. Don Larson once said, sometimes a, a week might go by when I don't think about that game, but I don't remember when it happened last. Isn't that true for educators as well? We are always looking for ways to help our students understand the concept, read a little easier, solve a complex problem, see the big picture, be confident, be worthy, have a future that is bright and filled with promise. So my message to each and every educator in this room today is thank you. Thank you for your time, dedication, flexibility, your ability to change, your caring heart for our students, your patience through the tough times, and much, much more. Here we are getting close to the end of the 2017-18 school year and about to unveil this year's deserving Gerstacker recipients. At this time, we want to send our sincere thanks and very best wishes to our 26 retirees for sharing their combined 703 years of service to the students, families, and staff at Midland Public Schools. 
you will be missed. We will recognize our retirees that are in attendance tonight. Please come forward as I introduced you. Terry DeLude. Terry began her MPS career in 1986. She's a second grade teacher at Chestnut Hill Elementary. Her career has spanned 32 years in public education. During her years with Midland Public Schools, Terry has taught at Parkdale and Chestnut Hill. <laughs> Janet Greif. Janet is an MPS Associate Superintendent at the Administration Center. She was originally hired at MPS in 2004 and has spent 24 years in public education. During her MPS career, Jenna has worked at Central Middle School, Plymouth, Northeast, and Midland High. <laughs> Amy Hutchinson. Amy is assistant principal at Midland High. She was hired in 1986 to teach English and advise the Focus newspaper. Amy's entire 32-year public education career has been spent at Midland Public Schools. As a Midland High Chemic, she received her Gerstecker Award in 1997. <laughs> Julie Hyatt. Julie was a fourth grade teacher at Central Park Elementary. She was hired full time in 1994. Julie spent 25 years in public education. While at MPS, she worked with students, staff, and families at Parkdale, Woodcrest, Cook, Carpenter, and Central Park. <laughs> Mary Larson. Mary is a second grade teacher at Chestnut Hill. She joined the MPS staff in 1981 and has spent 41 years in public education. During her MPS career, she taught at Chestnut Hill and Cook Elementary Schools. Mary received her Gerstecker Award in 1996. <laughs> Rhonda Leisure. Rhonda is a fifth grade teacher at Chestnut Hill Elementary. Her first year with MPS was 1989. She spent 29 years in public education. Rhonda's entire MPS career has been spent teaching Chestnut Hill chipmunks. <laughs> Marty Legg. Marty is a kindergarten teacher at Woodcrest Elementary. Her first year at MPS was 1995 as an endow teacher. She has spent 20 years in public education. Marty has worked MPS students, staff, and families at Woodcrest, Chestnut Hill, and Seabert. <laughs> Michelle Mettler. Michelle is a science teacher at Northeast Middle School. Michelle's first year at MPS was 1988. She spent 30 years in public education, all at Midland Public Schools, 25 years at Dow High, and five years at Northeast. <laughs> Jason Mary. Jason is a resource room teacher at Woodcrest Elementary. He joined the MPS staff in 1995 and has spent 23 years in public education. Jason has taught at Central Middle School, Dow High, Northeast, and Woodcrest during his MPS career. <laughs> Tracy Mary. Tracy is a resource room teacher at Chestnut Hill Elementary. Her first year at MPS was 1995. She has spent 25 years in public education. During her MPS career, Tracy has worked with special needs students at Cook and Chestnut Hill. <laughs> Lori Murphy. 
Lori is a seventh and eighth grade math teacher at Northeast Middle School. Her first year at NPS was 2000. She has spent 33 years in public education. While at NPS, she has taught math at Northeast, Central Middle, and Midland High. Jorge Pena. Jorge is a career and technical ed instructor at Northeast Middle School. His first year at NPS was 1995. He has spent 35 years in public education. During his years with NPS, Jorge primarily worked at Northeast, but he has also taught at Jefferson, Central Middle, and Midland High. Beth Quimby. Beth is a third grade teacher at Chestnut Hill Elementary. She began her MPS career in 1985. She has spent 32 years in public education. Beth said, I was hired for Chestnut Hill and retired from Chestnut Hill. I have always been a chipmunk. <laughs> Amy Slaybaugh. Amy is a fifth grade teacher at Plymouth Elementary. She began her Midland Public Schools career in 1999 and has spent 30 years in public education. While at MPS, Amy has worked at Longview, Parkdale, Siebert, Jefferson, Central Middle, East Lawn, Dow High, Carpenter, and Plymouth. <laughs> Amy received her Gerstecker Award in 2003. Colleen Smith. Colleen is a first grade teacher at Chestnut Hill Elementary. She joined our staff in 1987 and has spent 31 years in public education. During her MPS career, she has taught at Longview and Chestnut Hill. Colleen received a Gerstecker Award just last year. Corrine Thompson. Corrine is an English teacher at Dow High. She began her Midland Public Schools career in 1987, has spent more than 20 years in public education. While at NPS, Corrine has taught at both Jefferson Middle and Dow High Schools. <laughs> Lynn Tolfa. Lynn is a kindergarten teacher at Woodcrest Elementary. She began, her, she began her Midland Public Schools career in 1986 and has spent 29 years in public education. During her MPS career, she taught at Carpenter and Woodcrest. Lynn received her Gerstecker Award in 2014. <laughs> Thank you to our 2017-18 MPS retirees for your combined 703 years of dedicated service to the Midland Public Schools, staff, students, families, and community. You will be missed. Thank you. So the Gearstacker Award is widely recognized in our community as the most prestigious honor given to a professional educator. Due to our incredibly talented MPS staff, the selection of the four winners is always incredibly different. This year was no exception. Many educators were nominated and all were well deserving. Before we recognize this year's winners, I'd like to take a moment to thank several people who have made today's celebration possible. First, my fellow Gearstacker committee members. Mr. Brad Blasey, member of the Midland Public Schools Board of Education. Ms. Penny Miller Nelson, subject area coordinator. Previous Gearstacker Award winner, Mr. Joel McCusco, Midland High School teacher, and Ms. Amy Guzman, Midland High School teacher and MCEA Professional Standards Chair. Thank you also to the Midland High School Honors Orchestra and their director, Ms. Anna Mamassian, for the incredible music that was played as we entered the auditorium. Thank you as well to Mr. Kurt Gladhill, Dow High School art teacher, for designing the wonderful program cover. And last, but certainly not least, a special thank you to Ms. Cindy Young, our MPS Board Secretary, and Ms. Diane Bush, our MEA Office Professional, for all of the behind-the-scenes work that makes this ceremony possible. 
At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to our fellow Gerstack Committee and Midland Public Schools Board of Education member, Mr. Brad Blasey. Thank you, Mark. On behalf of the Board of Education, Pam Singer, Patrick Frizee, Mary Friedel, Scott McFarland, Lynn Baker, and Angela Brandstadt, and my fellow committee members, Amy Guzman, Penny Miller Nelson, Joel McCusco, and the amazing Cindy Young, I would like to welcome you to the 63rd Annual Gerstacker Awards. And I'd also like to welcome you to this incredible facility. Thanks to you, the taxpayers of Midland Public Schools, and your generosity, this historic gem was brought back to life. As Mike said, today we're also celebrating an award that is also historic. 63 years old and running strong. 63 years of celebrating the best of our best. I mean it when I say the best of our best because cumulatively, we have the best teachers in the state. And to be recognized by your peers, students past and present, and parents is absolutely remarkable. Our teachers, to me, are the epitome of givers. And for them to bring their A-game each and every day is worthy of our recognition. Excuse me, recognition. That's an applause. <laughs> and of course they need their summers off to recharge, to learn, and to get ready to do it all again. So I hope this award today helps those selected to have an extra special summer this year. Giving. The Gerstacker family and their foundations are also the epitome of giving. I was born and raised in Midland, and my children are actually fourth generation Midlanders. I love this great city and its rich history, so that I thought it would be fitting and important to give a very brief, brief background of the Gerstacker family. Ida Gerstacker moved to Midland in 1945 from Cleveland, Ohio after her husband Roland passed away so she could be closer to her son Carl and her daughter Elsa. Ida's life was charities. Concerned that her charities would suffer after the death of her, of her death, she established the Roland M. Gerstacker Foundation in honor of her late husband. The purpose of the foundation was to carry on indefinitely financial aid to charities of all types. The Gerstacker Foundation is present in Midland, Cleveland, and all communities where Dow Chemical has a major presence. Ida's son Carl, a past CEO of Dow Chemical, married Esther Schutte in 1975. Together they created the Midland Area Community Foundation, the Tridge, and Barley McTavish, just to name a few things. Their foundations have supported progressive senior housing, a thriving downtown and riverfront, excellence in public schools, youth services, superior higher education, wonderful parks and recreation, thriving music and arts culture, a prestigious regional hospital, diverse community centers, and much, much more. Today we're celebrating the 63rd Annual Teacher Proficiency Awards that are made possible through the generous support of the Carl and Esther Gerstacker Donor Advised Fund at the Midland Area Community Foundation, again, a foundation they helped create. Carl's goal in life was actually, actually to give away all his money before he passed. He didn't quite achieve his goal, but his inheritance was gifted to his foundations to carry on his passions. Esther also served as a board member of the United Way, the Midland Center for the Arts, the Midland Symphony Orchestra, the Cancer Center, the Midland Music Society, the Visiting Nurses Association, and the Salvation Army. I can say firsthand she was an incredible lady. My family and my family's business had a long history of working with, with, for, and in concert with Carl and Esther to help them transform their visions. No matter what, my family always answered the call from Mrs. G, and one day, very, very early in my career, that call came to me. It was 1989, I was in 11th grade at Midland High, and it was Thanksgiving Day. The Lions were coming on shortly, our family was coming over, and the spread was nearly done, and the phone rang. Hello, this is Brad. Yes, Mrs. Gerstacker. I understand. Okay, please hold a minute. As I called out, Dad? Dad? 
It's a corded phone. I can't go very far. <laughs> Mrs. G's on the phone, and she has an electrical problem in her kitchen. What do you want me to tell her? Uh, Mrs. Gerstacker, um, I will be there in five minutes. <laughs> Luckily for me, it was something easy, and I made it back home in time to see Barry Sanders and the Lions defeat the Cleveland Browns. As I said before, my family has a long history with the Gerstackers. Fresh out of college, my mother worked at Midland Public Schools as a seventh grade math teacher at Jefferson Intermediate. During that year, she had Esther's son in her class. You may have heard of him, Attorney General or A.G. Bill Schutte. Our own Gary Glenn recently stated that AG stands for almost governor. We shall see. To this day, Bill continues to serve on local foundations as well, if you didn't know that, on the Gerstacker Foundation as well as others. The business of the Gerstackers was giving, and their le legacy lives on indefinitely. Teachers are also in the business of giving, giving of their time, talents, love, and passion. Teachers create the future each and every day. Their legacy also lives on indefinitely through all the students that they touch. Teaching is hard work, and as I said before, we have the most talented teachers in the state. The saying goes that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. But I say that if talent works hard, they are unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our teachers at the Milton Public Schools are talented and they work very, very hard. And yes, I believe they are unstoppable. So to pick just four recipients of this award is a monumental task. 140 nominations, 42 different teachers, whom all were qualified to win this award. But we had to choose. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again from the Board of Education the selection committee, and especially the Gerstacker family and all the foundations for their generous support of the Midland Public Schools. Now let's get on with this. Mr. Dirk DeBoer, would you please come forward to present the first recipient of the 63rd Annual Gerstacker Pro Teacher Proficiency Awards. Any Vikings in the house? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mr. Blazy. Before we get started with revealing and celebrating our Viking Gerstacker winner, I'd like to say a few things about our retiring teachers. Every year we take a portion of this day to acknowledge those who have devoted a tremendous chunk of their lives to Midland Public Schools and the education profession. Because of the high quality of instructional staff we have, each group of retirees is outstanding in their own right and have accomplishments best described like in an old Auto Trader magazine is too much to list. If you're from the thumb, you know what Auto Trader is. <laughs> Denise, you like that one, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I have the pleasure of being able to say firsthand this particular group of retirees is outstanding. It is personally bittersweet to watch them walk out of this district. As an administrator, I shout her on behalf of my colleagues of myself and my colleagues at the thought of replacing them. I've had the honor of working with the majority of these retirees over the years. We enjoyed a lot of laughs, frustrations, successes, successes, and a bunch of learning experiences. I know I'm the better for knowing you. This room is full of people who could say the same. The district and community are better because you chose to share your talents with all of us. Several of you in the group taught my own two daughters and they sure are the better for it. For what you did for them, I'm always in your debt. Actually, Mets and Lazier each have one of my kids this year and chose this year to retire, so maybe I owe the community an apology. <laughs> if that's the case, I, I do that. <clears throat> Regardless, as a parent in the community of Midland, I want to thank you for what you've done for our children. Next, I would like to acknowledge and thank the Gerstacker family. I didn't know them personally. Um, but this award highlights representatives of our MPS staff who exemplify great teaching. 
as the Gerstacker family is a wonderful representative of our tremendously supportive community, this makes for a great match for a ceremony. Apparently, many years ago, someone in the Gerstacker family realized a very simple truth about education. This is a truth we talk about often at Northeast. It is. If you want to have a great school, you need to have great teachers. Doesn't matter how nice your building is, how many banners you hang on the wall, or how many sports games you win if you don't have great teachers. We know if a student at Northeast has six out of six great teachers, they'll think they're in a great school. Same is true everywhere else. Thankfully, this award recognizes great teaching. In 2003, I had the pleasure of coming to Midland after six years in another district. My wife and I relocated here because of the MPS reputation. It didn't take long to realize why MPS had that reputation, the teaching staff. My wife and I have stayed in Midland because we want our own daughters to be taught by the wonderful people here. Great teaching needs to be celebrated and valued. Educators need to be celebrated and valued. I think a common misconception is great teachers were born to teach or have some innate abilities to be teachers. I disagree. I think we're darn lucky these folks decided to be teachers because they could be successful in anything they choose. They're smart, reflective, objective, empathetic, humble, have a growth mindset, and are intrinsically motivated to work their tails off to get better at what they do. Where would those traits not be successful, I ask? Thank you, Gerstackers, for your continued support, continued commitment to this great tradition. Now on to the Northeast representative to the long tradition of Gerstacker winners. It is with great honor I get to present this award and speak about the qualities of this phenomenal educator. Six principals before me had the pleasure of working with this person and would have been just as proud to do what I have the opportunity of doing this afternoon. Now, just because I refer to six principals does not, does not imply this person is old. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way right now. Just that there has been a lot of turnover at Northeast, and perhaps this winter worked in another building at one time. Notice also I said principals had the opportunity to work with this teacher. That's because this person does not need a boss. Just someone to support and encourage the creativity and let it fly. I happen to be the lucky one now. In all of our classes at Northeast, we strive for the students to make a claim and support that claim with evidence and reasoning. I'm going to attempt to do the same. <laughs> My claim, the MPS community will be proud to have our Northeast winner as a representative of what we value in the teaching profession. I have evidence and reasoning from many letters written on this person's behalf, plus firsthand experience of working with him or her. Let's see how long I can go without giving this away. <laughs> I can provide a hint before we start. The winner is not Kelly Brewer, nor is it Kathy Romaine. There are two Gerstacker winners currently on our staff. The rest are fair game. <laughs> By the way, neither of those aforementioned winners have let off the gas pedal for a second since winning their awards years ago. I'm going to list some qualities, and then I'm going to read some quotes from some stakeholders. I want you to listen for the evidence and the reasoning I'm using to refer back to why I believe you'd be proud of this person. I didn't know that part was funny. <laughs> what does an administrator give you evidence and reasoning, right? <laughs> German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer wrote, talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. The teacher I am talking about hits these previously unseen targets. However, the great thing about this teacher is not the unseen targets hit. Rather, as this person hits them, they're instantly grabbing for another hand to go right along with them. Look what I found. Come join me. It's a lot of work, but it's so worth it, and I'm with you every step of the way. The outstretched hand could be, turns into an arm under the shoulder and then a lift. Then others are at a level they may not have, and they may not have reached. Then the process repeats. This is a leader. This is a teacher. Person is highly intelligent and just as humble. I actually debated whether to bring them up here early because they would be mortified by the attention. <laughs> In the short term, it would have been hilarious. <laughs> However, I fear retribution. <laughs> as this person is strong, is as strong and tough as they are caring and nurturing. If it's in the best interest of the students and staff, this person will tell me or any leader to their face if something's not right. Whoever's on the receiving end better listen. This teacher is reflective and determined. 
I have seen this person objectively look at student performance and turn his or her own pedagogical weaknesses into strengths and help others do so as well. This person exemplifies our school culture and personally motivates me to be a better principal. Don't just take my word for it, listen to these comments from others. I had many to choose from and could only use a fraction of the statement, so please picture an elliptical period after each. <laughs> a veteran teacher and former Gerstacker winner said, this person is, out is an outstanding teacher and leader in our building. He or she understands curriculum and is always willing to share expertise with others. This teacher is always helping behind the scenes and does not take credit for all they do in our building. Former Northeast administrator said, this person is one of the most dedicated professionals I've ever had the privilege of working with. He or she extends well beyond what is expected. Another veteran teacher, this person is an exceptional teacher and human being. This teacher is a true leader in every sense of the word, always working for the betterment of the students and team. I am truly a better teacher and person for having the honor of working with this person. A parent wrote, he or she is one of those teachers you dream your child will have. This teacher goes out of their way to teach every, every, in all caps, student in the class. Another veteran teacher said, this is my first year teaching with this person. During my 24 years in Midland, I have co-taught with many teachers in four different buildings. This teacher does not refer to students in this class as theirs or mine. Instead, this teacher considers them our students. I'm amazed by the amount of time and effort this teacher is willing to put in to each individual student. When one of our special needs students requires extra support, instead of coming to me and expecting me to address it, he or she invites the student in at lunch or after school for a reteach session. The Northeast administrator said, this teacher is an essential part of Northeast Middle School. As a pioneer, he or she is always willing to consider a new strategy as long as the outcome will have a positive impact on students. This person always has a smile and their upbeat attitude is contagious. This is made and continues to make a positive impact on our school climate. A veteran teacher and parent combination. This parent is the epitome of a teacher that deserves recognition. I have been lucky to not only work with this teacher, but I'm also a, pro I'm also a parent of a former student. His or her calm demeanor and positive attitude in the classroom is extraordinary. Not only do I see it, but my daughter commented many times about this person's classroom teaching style. This person is not afraid to change to be a better teacher, is always willing to listen to others, and gives amazing advice. I'm a better teacher because I have the opportunity to work with this person. Another parent added, at a parent-teacher conference, this teacher told us the positive news was our son was a leader in the classroom. Unfortunately, he was using those leadership skills in a negative way. We went home to discuss this with our son. The impact on him was dramatic. Later discussions with this teacher confirmed that his posture and attitude had changed. This May, our, this May, our son will graduate from the United States Air Force Academy. He said, in a military school. <laughs> Every time I read this, I'm like, the poor kid, no. It's the Air, it's the Air Force Academy. but. We give this teacher credit for identifying this leadership, his leadership skills and encouraging him to use them in a positive way. How have I done so far? Have I, have I given any like, really clues here? All right, all right. Can't be gender specific, see. This is, this is a 28 year veteran teacher. This teacher is exceptional. As a staff member, as a teacher, as a mentor, as a leader, as a team member, she is the best of the best. I am often in awe of her dedication and continuous energy to make Northeast the best that it can be. She is not afraid to try something new and to do the hard work that new endeavors often require. Former student. When I had this teacher in sixth grade, her teaching went above and beyond the level that most of my teachers in the past ever taught at. As a high school senior, not only do I still remember information that she taught, I also remember what an amazing, bubbly, positive person she was at the time and still is. Topics taught by her were fascinating to me, not because I am particularly interested in history, but because of her exceptional teaching. The other day, I was walking in Northeast to pick up my little sister and I saw her in the hallway. 
She came up and gave me a hug, which I was not expecting. New teacher said, this teacher has served as my mentor for the last two years. As a new teacher, having her as my mentor has been invaluable. She puts aside her own work to meet with me as long and as often as I need. This teacher has helped me create and manage a work-life balance, taught me how to use educational tools, and been a sounding board for problems and ideas. Think you got it? Past Gerstacker winner said, Robin is one of the most positive, forward-thinking, hard-working teachers I've ever met in my 27 years as an educator. Robin is a co-leader of our weekly PLC meetings and is an innovator and leader in thinking about educational practices. Regarding her commitment to curriculum and doing what is best for students, Robin was a tireless leader in organizing our in-depth look at essential standards for sixth grade language arts. After determining priority standards, we have come up with proficiency scales and are looking at creative ways of making sure our students are mastering the standards. Robin has led our sixth grade engaging in some very innovative ways to improve student learning. She inspires me every day and exemplifies what all great teachers should be. That's an English teacher, obviously, and I did condense that down, but <laughs> it's good. It's hard to edit an English teacher. They take it personal. <laughs> so, former teacher and Gerstacker winner, there are so many adjectives that can be used to describe her, but when I think about Robin Bott as a person and an educator, the word that best describes her is transformational. Simply put, all those fortunate enough to be in her presence come away changed for the better by her words, her actions, and her example. I got one more. <laughs> come up here for this one. Bot. Former student, Mrs. Botten is an extreme, oh, I'll let you sit down, sorry. Former student, Mrs. Bott is an extremely kind teacher and I learned a lot in her class. She made such a positive impact on my life that I still stop in to see her at school to let her know how much she's appreciated. Her classroom was the best because she had chairs that we could move around in groups. <laughs> Principals like those too, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be with people who worked well together. I am dyslexic and I have some accommodations for test taking. I don't like to be separated and called out as different because I sometimes need extra help. Mrs. Bott is always thoughtful, was always thoughtful and would quietly help me at my seat so that I fit in with everybody else in class. Her quiet work with me helped me maintain my dignity and helped me continue to learn. Mrs. Bott would encourage me to continue to work hard even when it was really difficult for me. She helped me believe in myself and when I didn't do well on a test, she would allow me extra time to correct things because she wanted me to learn everything I could. She took time to care about me, and I wanted to do my best for her in return. It would mean a great deal to me if you would reward Mrs. Bott because of all the help she gave me in sixth grade made all the difference. I got one more thing. If you, if you want to have a great school, you have to have great teachers. Robin Bott is exceptional. I believe many teachers, students, parents, and administrators have helped me make the case. I hope you're all as proud as the Northeast community members are to have Robin Bott's representation as a Gerstacker winner. Thank you, and uh, thank you guys out there because I really think, um, I don't know how you decide who gets this, and I'm surrounded by awesome all day. From the minute I wake up in the morning, 
I look forward to going to school because I get to work with you guys and I get to learn from you and I have awesome people in my room and then I get to come home to awesome. <laughs> so I'm just the luckiest person here. So thank you and let's go, <laughs> right? Next, please welcome Dr. Linda Lipset, Adams principal to the stage. This is a very exciting time. Um, before I begin my comments about our Gerstacker recipient for today, I'd like to thank the Gerstacker family for making this important event possible. It's a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the accomplishments of our outstanding staff and as a district team. Personally, I see it the highlight of each school year as we gather together to discover who will be honored. On that note, I am very proud to be able to share about our first elementary recipient for 2018. Spring is a really wonderful time of year for this celebration, and as I was preparing for today, I thought about this teacher's style and how her view of teaching is very much like a, like a tree. Above the ground, when you go into her room, you'll see her teaching and management decisions just as you see the trunk and branches of a tree, the leaves, the students she impacts each day. But what lies beneath the soil, invisible to others, are the roots. The roots are the foundation for her choices in her classroom. A root system nourishes the tree, anchoring that tree against wind and weather. It provides stability and allows the tree to bud and flower and branch out. This teacher strives to elevate students, develops to develop students with a focus on growing to reach out to the opportunities in their lives. Her invisible root system has many important components. This teacher knows that learning involves risk taking. It's a shared responsibility and everyone has experiences and expertise to share. Learning requires respect. Learning requires students to think about what they do. And all of this she focuses and fosters in her strong root system in her classroom learning community. Developing these components takes time and care. Lessons are crafted, relationships are developed, and time is spent focusing on each student's needs. It's a nurt nurturing, consistent, and positive process. She approaches each year as a new adventure, a camping trip. The collaboration to pitch the tent of working together, the process of using the tools as students arrive to enhance the instruction, and through that she creates a positive caring atmosphere. This teacher loves the outdoors and has a true passion for science, which is noted in her yearly dedication to incorporating nature in the classroom. Walking field trips are part of her classroom camp process where they visit their tree friends in the Adams Woods and watch over their changes throughout the course of the year. Her read alouds focus on preserving our natural resources. She creates a daily camp experience that students look forward to each day. In her classroom, she gives students opportunities to learn and grow supported to success with freedom to explore their interests. While her initial degree was a Bachelor of Arts degree in, from Alma College in Communications, this teacher's drive to work with children resulted in her shift from working for the Coca-Cola Company to returning to Saginaw Valley State University to earn her teaching certification. She later earned her Master's of Education degree in Educational Leadership from there as well. She was hired in 2001 as a fourth grade teacher at Adams. In her first few years of teaching, 
she enjoyed working in the same building as her Aunt Marlene Claire. She formed strong friendships with, which strengthened her own roots, and she continues to live her passion of enjoying her family, friendships, and sports with a focus on supporting each student she works with in developing their own branches and directions toward their interests. Her love for Michigan comes across in her instruction and she continually incorporates facts about our state into her work with students. She's helped me too. I'm from Ohio and I think it was her personal, Michi her personal Michigan experience to uh, convert me to all things Michigan. <laughs> she provided me a little bit of remediation and trying as I struggled uh, to pronounce Taquanama. I hope that's right because if it's not I'm going to feel really bad. But perhaps one of the best, my favorite things actually about preparing for today was in reading and reflecting on the comments about her work. This honoree is truly dedicated to student learning and the creation of positive learning opportunities. These opportunities are noted through comments of staff, parents, in, and students, and I'd like to share a few. A parent wrote, her classroom is not a classroom, but Camp Washaba. Her passion for this great state shines through her lessons and adventures. Happy campers love school and they walk with confidence and that's all because of the support they get from their teacher. They leave Camp Washaba feeling loved. Another wrote, Mrs. Washaba instills a strong sense of community within her classroom and makes learning fun. Every time I'm in the classroom, the kids are always working well together and engaged. A colleague wrote, Lori creates a positive classroom environment that promotes and rewards growth in every student. She has an outstanding job and is a positive role model for students and staff alike. Students' voices in regard to Mrs. Washaba were loud and clear. Highlights of some of their input include, Mrs. Washaba motivates me to take action. I love being in her class because there's always something going on. She's kind and caring. She has a passion for nature. She's like Rachel Carson because she's changed careers as well. <laughs> she lets us have fun in science by making slime. She's the best because she makes learning exciting. She's so positive and she is never mad. We do cool stuff outside like go into nature and visit our tree friends. She's always full of energy and fun in the halls. She loves Michigan. She loves it so much that she wants to teach third grade next year, so she continued teaching the Michigan Curriculum and Social Studies. <laughs> I have to admit, Lori, that one kind of surprised me. <laughs> in addition to her work as a classroom teacher, she's been active in leadership positions in multiple areas. She currently serves on the Adams School Improvement Team. She's the emergency, on the emergency response team and is a district science teacher leader for grades three five. She's involved, dynamic, professional, and most importantly enthusiastic about her job and the success of her students. These are all adjectives that are used to describe the great teachers in our lives and are specific characteristics that embody excellence in teaching. Mrs. Washaba models that description. An additional reflection from a close colleague shared, she's a fun-loving teacher who puts a lot of heart into her teaching. Although we teach different grades, she's always been my go-to for collaboration. She sees new ideas with an open mind and finds creativity refreshing. She's never set on always doing things the easy way. If it's a great idea, it's a great idea, and it deserves the time and effort to see it to fruition. And a final comment that sums it up best from a student, simply saying, she is amazing. It's evident that this Gerstacker winner's path is one that's made a positive difference in the lives of her students, her colleagues, and our community.
안녕하세요. Hello from South Korea. Lori, I really wish that I could be there today. This is um, just such a special honor for you. Um, you love what you do, and we all know that. And to be recognized for that is just icing on the cake. So I am so proud of you. Um, you're a great mom and a wife and a friend and you name it. And to be recognized as a great teacher today is just spectacular. So um, I'm so incredibly proud of you. And I'm most proud I get to call you my sister. So I love you. Congratulations. And I will see you soon. Annyeong! With that, please join me in congratulating Mrs. Lori Washaba. I'm totally bamboozled, you guys. You are such good liars. Um, thank you so much. Um, I have been so, so lucky to teach all 17 years at Adams and with like the best teachers ever. Uh, great administrators, great teachers, great friends. They have seen me through this. Four years of maternity leave, pretty much, right there. So I obviously like children. Just saying. Um, it's my mom and my dad are here, my husband. Uh, I'm just shocked. So thank you. Thank you so much. With that, I would like to call Mr. Paul Schroll to share about our next Gerstacker recipient. Thank you, Dr. Lipset. It's a great day. So excited. So excited I broke the projector. <laughs> My name is Paul Schroll and I am honored to represent the staff at Seabird Elementary today as we recognize one of our own, a Gerstacker Excellence in Teaching Awardee. Uh, this is made possible, of course, by the generosity of our Gerstacker family for over 60 years. I was able to connect to some of the people that know Seabird's uh, newest Gerstacker winner uh, and they know this person best. And so in the theme of this is your life, we will hear from uh, many of them. And one by one, they will provide clues to the identity of our honoree. Uh, those who were able to make it after the remarks are made or shared, please come down to the stage. We'll have a big group up here at the end. And everybody will know what's going on, I think, because we have some family members too. Uh, and due to the change in uh, technology help, I have my handy dandy iPhone. 
for my remarks later. All right. So, for our first clue from this award winner's present principle. That's me. Since arriving at Siebert in 2014, this teacher has stood out as a model educator by her actions as well as her words. This teacher maintains one of the most positive atmospheres I have ever observed in a classroom, and her attitude is contagious. Her students are repeatedly reminded of how smart they are and given a variety of avenues to show their academic strengths. This teacher builds a classroom community through the use of social stories to highlight positive school behaviors and to build the student understanding of social norms. This teacher has an endless supply of strategies and personalizes her instructional approach to meet all of her students' needs. This teacher does all these things, all these things we want for our children, yet does not seek credit for any of her accomplishments. She is humble and happy to remain behind the scenes. I feel that the recognition as a Gerstacker would come as a shock to her and a resounding well-deserved from all that know her. All right, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic, well-thought words. And now some words from a past principal. This teacher is a people person. She's outgoing, enthusiastic about what she is teaching and very friendly. Her relationship with students is outstanding. She's able to work equally effective with a wide array of students. She has a natural sense of humor that effectively motivates her students. She is fair and positive in dealing with difficult discipline challenges. I appreciate her ability to see the positive and difficult situations and her tenacity in finding a solution that creates a win-win for student, parent, and teacher while keeping high learning ex expectations for her students. Her classroom's well organized for student le learning. It's evident when entering her classroom that it's student-centered and that learning is a high priority. She continues to perform very well. Her students reflect her ability of teaching through their assessment performance. I appreciate her drive and desire to make every one of her students successful. She has a strong ability to separate conflict from student learning and remains steadfast in her commitment to helping all students be the best that they can be. If you didn't recognize that voice, that was Brad Vandervliet, Siebert Elementary Principal, uh, past principal. And Brad couldn't be here today and of course sends his best. So we will move on to a past colleague. I like that she gives me cookies and roses. She says silly stuff to me when I walk in the halls. It makes me laugh. <laughs> I hope that she is my teacher when I am third grade. Uh, that was not a past colleague. That was... <laughs> That was a current kindergartner. Uh, and I think we can arrange for that child to be in this person's class. Now, uh, now we'll hear from a past colleague. True educators don't need to be told to design problem-based or authentic learning projects but they don't need to be told to integrate and blend curricula to include art, music, and movement, or to write across the curriculum. They do it because they intuitively know that kids learn best when all of these things are connected. Do you remember taking second graders to Coffee Chaos for an old-fashioned poetry reading in celebration of their work? Do you remember leading third graders to collaborate on writing a song based on their scientific observations of metamorphosis? and then following up with rehearsals of that song and finally a trip to a recording studio for a tour and a professional recording of their metamorphosis song? Well, since then, these adorable little kids have passed through many stages and changes of their own. They'll turn 21 years old this year, but you can bet they remember the experiences they had in your classroom. 
Well, she just realized it was her. <laughs> but we have more. Because, Pam, this is your life. How about a present colleague, please? This teacher is the type of person that when you meet them, you immediately feel like you've known them forever. She's exactly the type of colleague that one could hope for. She's selfless, thoughtful, and kind. There have been numerous occasions where I've needed help at the last minute, and no matter her situation or how busy she is, this teacher has always been there to help. She's willing to go the extra mile and beyond for our team. Her creative and enthusiastic ideas and attitude are a vital part of what makes our school and our grade level successful. She's more than generous with her time and expects nothing in return. I continue to be motivated by her dedication to help our school and community. And a special guest, her first Midland Public Schools principal. Yeah, good afternoon. About 26 years ago, I hired a young teacher from Sparta, Michigan, because I thought she had all the skills to be a good teacher. But most important, it was easy for me to see she truly liked kids. Kind of funny, without that ingredient, it just doesn't work. I guess you proved me right, Pam. Congratulations on your award this afternoon. You have touched many lives in the way that matters most, your time. Congratulations again. And by the way, did you ever finish that song, Blessings Come Disguised? Have a great day. If, if you've made remarks, please come on up. Dr. Z. And we will move on to this award winner's, that's right, that's, this award winner's kindergarten teacher, a remark from her. She's the cute little blonde in my first kindergarten class of teaching. And now, we'll hear from a couple of friends. This person was one of my late wife's favorite English students. Her goal was to become a teacher and she achieved it. The winner of this award is very competitive when she is waiting in line to have her oil changed. That's good information to have, Pam. <laughs> and now a couple of very special voices, your mother and your husband. My mother, your grandmother, Dodo, would be so proud of you. I married this wonderful woman on a beach in Hawaii. Before we bring you up here, Pam, a few more comments. Pam joined Midland Public Schools as a Seabird Elementary School at Seabird Elementary School in 1992. That's 26 years ago and going strong. She is currently a third grade teacher at Siebert where she excels at meeting her students' needs both academically and emotionally. And during her time at Siebert, Pam has literally done it all, from keeping up on the latest instructional strategies and techniques to initiating innovative projects and programs for students. Pam is always looking for ways to help her students and the Siebert community. For example, this school year, Pam serves as a grade level chair and as a grade level representative for core instruction and science. Pam also spearheaded an initiative to create a summer reading program for students in a nearby neighborhood. This program is designed to provide students access to books, reading, a meal or a snack, and the opportunity for students to interact with community members or mentors. Pam was also recognized as a Midland Public School Shining Star Award recipient this past winter. In 1987, Pam graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in elementary education, language arts from CMU. 
She went on to earn her Master's of Arts degree, classroom teaching and elementary education in 1994 from CMU. And then before arriving in Midland, Pam worked from 1998 to 91 as a teacher in Pineview School in Big Rapids. And then from 91 to 92 at Kent City, Maine Elementary in Kent City. Pam started her career in Midland Public Schools in 1992 and her principal at the time also said, I was impressed with her idea of a teacher journal which is available for daily students. The journal provides an opportunity for a teacher to have the students do what she does rather than merely what she says. An excellent example of moderate modeling desired behaviors. Do you remember that, Dr. Z? I bet you do. Since, since then, things have only gotten better for Pam. She's gained instructional knowledge and applied new and innovative approaches in the classroom. Pam's colleagues were excited and motivated to nominate her. One wrote, Pam is selfless, thoughtful, kind, creative, enthusiastic, and her ideas and attitude benefit our team and the school. I continue to be motivated by her. A parent wrote, you are the best person to help our son in this situation. I cannot thank you enough for caring for him this much. Another parent wrote, you asked for feedback on, a math rotations, on the math rotations used in class. As a volunteer, math stations allow me to work with a group of students to reinforce the lesson as the kids are learning to stay on task and time manage each station. Short of providing each class with a paraprofessional, I think the math rotations is a good method for maximizing class instruction and utilizing a parent volunteer. Pam, you create a community in your classroom and you focus on the positive energy, the growth mindset, and you've heard that already this day. And you enrich the lives of not just every student, but every person in our building. Pam Andrews, this is your life. I know you like to perform. find this hard to believe, but I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> I always have a lot to say, but th oh, thank you so much. I really am very uncomfortable being up here because when I think of the Gerstecker winner, they have it all together, and uh, I, I really don't. And, um, 
I work with such awesome people, and I borrow and steal ideas from them all day long. And thank you. I, I have so many wonderful mentors, and um, I have the new young teachers that keep me going. And what's that word? Minimalize. <laughs> yeah. And Dr. Frizzi, thank you. So many years ago, you took a risk on me. And if I remember, I wasn't doing so good when I walked into your office. <laughs> And I kind of hung around because she said interviews would be tomorrow, and I said, I'll wait. And she said, that's not how it works, but I did. I sat right there, and I waited, and, and you hired me. Thank you. Um, my family um, and my best teachers are my kiddos because they teach me so much every day, but it's everybody. It's the school bus drivers and the wait for the last little one to get on the bus and the custodian who adjusts the desk for the student that you just got and the oh god bless the office for the bloody noses and the wiggly teeth and the sick kids and the art teachers and it's just everybody it's just a whole big team and oh my gosh thank you so much thank you I don't know what else to say <laughs> thank you <laughs> Now you know why I was so excited. <laughs> All right, at this time, it is my distinct pleasure to invite to the podium Dr. Steve Poole. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Gerstacker Award Ceremony, Middle Public School staff, administrators, and families. I would especially like to thank the Gerstacker family for continuing to endorse excellence in teaching. Congratulations to the newly announced Gerstacker winners. It certainly is a great honor to be recognized by this district for doing well. I did not put this in my speech, but obviously Mr. DeBoer, I think, hit the nail on the head when it comes to our retirees. I've been lucky enough to work with quite a few of them as well, so we definitely will be missing them. It is my pleasure to be here, standing up here representing Herbert Henry Dow High School. We are ecstatic to have another Gerstacker winner from our building. I will now play this game that I played last year as well, that all of us enjoy playing. <laughs> this year's Gerstacker winner is a Dow High teacher. They have been teaching at least a year. <laughs> they are also a member of a department at Dow High School. <laughs> While student teaching, their supervising teacher said, I expect that this person will become an excellent teacher and that they are willing to put in the time to create quality classroom experiences for the students. In their first evaluation, this person's evaluator said they are personable, articulate, and have an excellent sense of humor. And this person is not a 9 to 5 employee. They arrive early and stay very late, often working in the evenings and including weekends. In their second evaluation, the same evaluator included, there is no teacher in our department who relates better to students than this teacher. That's in the second year teaching. Some of the students who nominated this person described them as the best teacher I have ever had. Another added that this teacher tries to bring light and happiness to what they teach. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. Depends on what you teach, I guess. Another student said this teacher showed us that they cared about us by getting to know us all personally. Another explained that 
I may not follow the classes they taught in, the future, in my future career, but I know their teachings will still influence and guide me later in life. Lastly, yet another student said, when it comes to exceptional teaching, to leave this teacher out of the conversation would be a travesty. Thankfully, we will not have a travesty today. Looking at past evaluations, this teacher has taught many different classes in their department. This person grew up in Michigan and went to a major university. <laughs> their cooperating teacher, while student teaching, ended their recommendation with, I expect this teacher to become an excellent teacher. They were correct. This teacher was hired when 18 other people applied for the same job. The interview committee on that day consisted of Margie Lee, Mel Billick, Linda Klein, and Jan Goodall. In previous evaluations, this teacher was applauded for helping students no matter what they asked for or when they needed it, if it was before school, after school, or even during lunch. Former principal Jan Goodall described this teacher as an excellent addition to the Dow High staff. The lead teacher in their department, Jason Watkins, expressed that this teacher embodies all of the select selection criteria for this prestigious award. Fellow math teacher Garrett Turner added, every teacher I've ever met absolutely loves this teacher. He makes learning fun. A parent who nominated him said, he demands excellence and gets more out of his students than they think they can achieve. Not only does he prepare the kids for college, he also prepares them to be successful in a competitive college environment. His classes are demanding, yet his ability to teach so effectively makes his students successful. Another parent adds that he inspires and helps transform students. We got the he out there. This teacher does many things at Dow High School. He coaches football and has done other activities as well. He was very influential in the Blue Ribbon Committee for Dow High School. He also participated in Camp Outlook for years. And yes, And yes, he is the leader of one of our largest clubs, Robotics, and has been there since it started. I don't think he program, programmed it to do that. When asked for stories about him, his wife told me one that I'd like to share. This is what she, Annette said. I don't know exactly how this came about, whether Sean jumped in because he likes to pull a leg when given the opportunity, or if the student came to him because he's Hispanic and she, and she thought he'd know. Either way, this was years ago. Some of you already know this story, but everybody else has to hear it. This is great. This was years ago, and the student has long since graduated. And she was questioning Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> the meaning and the purpose. Sean so convincingly tells her a story about the Mexican Declaration of Independence from the United States and how, as an act of rebellion and rejection, they dumped jars and vats of mayonnaise <laughs> into the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> just like we did with the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> then, of course, she shares this with all of her friends. Much to her chagrin, her friends gift her jars of mayonnaise every Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> she had a good laugh with Sean about it when she graduated. Please welcome the newest member to the Gerstacker Excellence family, Mr. Sean Murray.
they told me it was Jahoski, I believed them. <laughs> and my wife fooled me this morning. She said, there's no PD this morning. I don't know how she got that. Uh, uh, I can't follow up the previous speech. That was awesome. Uh, and I think everybody else has said it wonderfully um, that there are thousands of you out there that could have deserved this. Uh, and it's a testament to all of you how great you are. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much for this. And uh, yes, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. <laughs> Well, this concludes our ceremony. Congratulations to our retirees and our teachers and our uh, Gerstack Award winners.